Greetings and salutations, Johnny Mac, Rock and Metal Plus. Um, yeah, this is um, another video, part two of um, my review of uh, Fortress Festival 2024. Yeah, nice. So, um, yeah, as I showed in the first one, there's my ticket. Flyer. So, um, first and second of June in Scarborough, UK. Um, two days of mostly black metal. Um, this is my day two. Um, if you didn't see day one, um, just if you watch this, just go back on my channel and watch the one before that because that's the one. Um, yeah. So. Um, yeah, like first, uh, um, obviously, if you're new to the channel, all right. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below, all the usual YouTube bollocks. Um, right. Okay, first up, what we're listening to in the background is this. This is um, Welsh black metal, Aspiridinos. Which is fucking awesome. I've been rattling on about this for quite a few years now. <laughs> this was out on Cavernous Records. Uh, they got a few bits and bobs out. Done a bit of dungeon synth shit as well. This is just uh, this is just fucking epic, awesome. And the reason I'm playing it one, I love it. And um, two, they've just got some pre-orders live for it's finally coming out in fucking vinyl. Yes. So um, there's a chuff Johnny Mac here. Um, yeah, just fucking awesome. Um, as I said, you can hear the in the background. Hopefully, the there's something about it. Just the the blastingness, and then the fucking little flute you can hear in the background. You know, forget your keyboardy stuff. It's just blasting and fucking haunting flute work from the female vocalist who plays the flute as well. Not at the same time, that'd be fucking impossible. I presume. But yeah, Uspid Nos. Check them out. It's obviously called uh, The Forest Howls at Dusk. Yeah, it's coming out on vinyl. Pop onto their band camp, pre-order it. Um, I pre-ordered the one with the t-shirt because you can never have two in here. Nos t-shirts, give me third. But yeah, fucking check it out. Awesome Welsh black metal. Good shit. Anyway, right. So that out of the way. Um, yeah. Also, Devod. Another excellent Welsh black metal band. Fucking tons of them out there. Nearly good scene here. In this ear of Wales. Okie dokie. Right, so. Um, day two of the festival. Um, needless to say, as I said, after the, the first one, um, I was fucking wankered um, by the time day one ended. Um, so, um, needless to say, I was hungover um, on the Saturday, on the Sunday morning. Um, we finally got out of our pits by about quarter to 11, 11 o'clock ish, because I needed to pop to the car park and put another fucking 24 hours on it because there's no car park at the hotel. Uh, did that. Went and got a fucking greasy spoon breakfast. Um, found this lovely cafe that did um, takeaway fish and chips as well. Um, but obviously they cut the entire breakfast in the fucking fryer. So it was, um, everything was fried uh, in deep fat. You know, the bacon, the sausages, the hash browns, everything was just dripping in fat. So um, yeah, that was the thing. Uh, young beardy though, Viking was a, uh, they only just kept it down, if I'm honest. Um, but anyway, so because of that, because um, we had a breakfast and shit, we missed the first band. So um, apologies to Anto Inferno. Um, I'm pretty sure they're going to be playing with Holder. It's just been announced later on for this year. So um, yeah, hopefully I'll get to check them out then. Didn't know, I said, love them, great band. I was going to get uh, albums by all the bands, but for some reason I haven't got anything out by Anto Inferno, but I've got. 
No, it's not in the fucking alphabetical order. I've still only got half my collection back here, the other half still at my mother in law, so yeah, that's a thing. I think it's here, the Anti Inferno, the latest one, which is fucking great, by the way. Um, yeah, so hopefully I will catch him sometime this year. Um, yep, so I didn't see him, so apologies to the guys. Um, excellent UK black metal. Um, right, uh, first band we did check out in the Ocean Room was the awesome Blood Countess. Um, I've got some vinyl as well, but I think that must be at the mother in laws I couldn't find it, so I thought I'd get out the fucking tape because it's, it's a banger. Good shit. Uh, this is also female fronted as well as a split nos. There's no fucking flutes on here though. This is just full on blasting all the way through. Uh, just great shit. Um, obviously the uh, Countess herself on vocals. Uh, I got a long sleeve with her. And these guys. Fucking excellent, excellent plan. Yeah. Uh, Blood Countess where fucking shit up really blew the cobwebs away and I was uh, ready for the hair of the dog after seeing them. nearly fucking good so yeah um, I said that the, the, all the bands we saw I've actually got clips for uh, which I will see if I can work out how to add I think the other one's okay I didn't get any fucking photos on there but I'll see how we get on with this one so yeah Blood Countess were fucking wicked really full on pounding some people I've seen some people in the forum say this is one of their favourite bands of the of the whole weekend, they were fucking great, really cool, um, yeah, excellent shit, very, very good, uh, I said UK, um, blasty, um, nasty, evil, female fronted, black metal, um, the ocean room was fucking land packed, so, uh, there were times when I couldn't even fucking see the contest herself, because she's not tall, she's about my fucking height, so she's not tall at all, and uh, there was tons of giants in front of me as usual. So I couldn't get so far in because it was fucking man packed. Anyway, so first band, Blood Countess, fucking wicked. Uh, next band up was Thy Light. Um, me and the bearded one decided to fucking check out the balcony because there's a balcony in the main stage. You know, we hadn't bothered previously in the day before. So we thought we'd check it out. Went up there. The Stage was there, the one in front was packed, so we had to go in the corner. We had to wander around, everything was there. Um, yeah, Thy Light seemed pretty decent. I think they're um, originally Brazilian. I think they're now based up in Scotland. Um, yeah, but I think it was probably because we were fucking sitting in seats in the balcony. Um, didn't The sound didn't carry too well. They sounded decent. Um, I, I probably will check them out. Um, I'll have a listen to some of their stuff. Um, sounded good. Um, quite atmospheric, depressive, that sort of shit. Um, quite slow, but melodic. Yeah, it sounded all right, but not, they didn't blow us away. We didn't feel the need to get go down to the fucking main floor and, and watch them from there. Uh, to be honest, we only caught the end of the set anyway. Uh, grabbing beers and shit. Uh, right, yeah. Next up, uh, Dom Hain played The Ocean. Uh, we didn't get over there for that. Um, I think we were buying beers or chatting to people or getting or Simon was buying more fucking merch. I can't remember what. Um, so we missed them at the ocean. Uh, it's, it's quite a way to go from the two fucking stages and those lazy fuckers. Um, next up, we did catch uh, a Bizzle. Now this is the only thing I can find that I've got by a Bizzle. I'm pretty sure. This so is the split with. Casinomo, yeah, Casinomo, Casinoma, Casinoma and Abyssal, yeah, so there's the split, four tracks each. Um, the Abyssal stuff's great, um, they were excellent live. Just... Good shit, this is on Death Player Records. Goat Player, sorry, which is what Death Player changed the name to when they went with some other fucking record label here, Amalgamated, which I can't fucking remember now. But yeah, this is on an old one, so it's on Goat Player. Uh, yeah, good shit. Abyssal were great. Um, I think they're UK as well. It's quite blasty. Vocals are really guttural. Um, they're all wearing fucking hoods and shit. 
and they noisy and dissonant. It's great, really good. Work well in the small stage in the in the ocean room. Um, nice hot and sweaty in there. Fucking spot on. Really cool. So they were excellent. Um, next up, few of the year. Um, Polish band. Uh, I didn't know anything by him. Um, Beardy there said he'd pop over to have a look at him. I, I think by that time I wanted to chill and have a beer or whatever. Um, so I did. Sat in the fucking. I'm sure it was fucking sunshine on the Sunday, if I remember rightly. So I was sitting in the fucking sunshine having a. I think I had a Guinness or something. Uh, really nice. Loads of fucking people hanging about. So I couldn't be asked. Got the main stage. So Beardy there popped over and then he went. He was a bit disappointed with him, I'm sure. They, they might be great I'll, at some point. I'm sure they'll check them out. So they are all left in there, if any pillar. Um, yeah, so that was a few of those. didn't get to see him. Um, next, one of the highlights of the weekend, uh, we went over to the Ocean Room to check out the wonderful Mortiferum. Um, uh, I, my albums are the CDs I've got, uh, um, still mother in law's. I remember I had this. This is uh, split seven inch they did with Hyperdontia. That's it. Out on Misako and, J and Ojo. Great stuff. Cool. Seven inch. Uh, yeah, multi them absolutely brilliant. Uh, I think I've got two or three CDs by him. Fucking awesome. Uh, so, autopsy worship, that sort of thing, if you want. But they're their own thing. They, they, they just have that. Heavy, death doomy sort of sound, slow, sludgy almost, but just heavy as balls. They do left fucking heavy. Have I said heavy enough about them? Probably not. They were awesome. Um, yeah, but American band, I think from Washington State possibly, somewhere like that. Don't know. America's a big fucking place. They have tons of states. Um, yeah, they were really, really good. Um, I'd love to see them do a headline set or whatever. I don't know if they play the UK much but I'll fucking definitely check them out if they're playing again. So yeah, more to fair them. It was a nice bit of a palate cleanser from all the, the death metal. Nice to have some slow, heavy, sludgy, doomy, heavy death metal. Fucking bloody, nearly, nearly good. Yeah, we both enjoyed more to fair them. Then it was over to uh, main stage for these boys. Okay, there you um, Yeah, my Okay, the CDs are in fucking mother-in-laws, so I thought I'd wear my shirt instead. So I picked up when they ordered the Limbo album. There you go. Uh, yeah, okay, the uh, fucking hell band of the day for me. If not, they're up there with Lamp and Irma, um, who killed it on day one. Uh, yeah, day two, fucking gay the uh, absolutely brilliant. Uh, well, as I said, I'm a big fan of them. Um, ever since heard the Self-titled EP, absolutely brilliant. Um, new album, is it Mirage or something like that? I think it's called. I said, I thought this one was Twenty Twenty One Limbo. Uh, this is something like Unsettling Whispers, like right? the first one. First one. Anyway, they were fucking brilliant. Nearly good set. Um, singer's just he, he's out there. It's, it's almost like fucking. Um, I said on on album, there. Um, his vocals are so pained, it's almost like he's, you know, he's, he's on a fucking torture deck. It's just so pained and it just sounds so evil and oppressive and just fucking awesome. And you got the pounding black metal as well, it really works well. And so obviously they're um, Portuguese. Um, yeah, they were absolutely brilliant. Blew me away. Sound was awesome. Um, stage show, they all got the fucking um, the masks on with a sigil on it. Uh, big sigil in the background and all that sort of thing. Uh, singer's just fucking insane. He, he, he's, he's like like he's like a fucking mad puppet. He's all over the fucking place with his arms and shit like that. It's it's almost progressive, but the the music behind it is so oppressive and that. And it's it's almost like a fucking experimental dance bollocks. But it works somehow. Well, I think it did anyway. I thought it was fucking awesome, really good. So yeah, if you get a chance to catch Gay there. Uh, by the album, it's fucking good to see him live. Shit hot, absolutely brilliant. Uh, Beardy led Viking, so glad he bought a t shirt. Um, right, so that was gay there, band of the fucking day for me. Um, after that, we were both fucking knackered, so I went to get some food because it was hungry. It was like getting on to tea time. 
go fucking off, but I'll get a beer chilled outside. So um, I didn't get over to the ocean stage to check out these bad boys, I'm afraid. Oh, oh. Fluis Duras. I can never fucking say it, but this this I uh, this is a I think twenty twenty one album, so that not the latest. But this this is just fucking brilliant. I was hoping to catch some of them, but one of them. You, can't, you just can't do them all. There's like ten minutes between bands and everybody was leaving the end of certain sets to catch the ones in the, in the next one and that sort of thing. So it, it, I don't know. There was no actual, you know, that there, there was no overlaps or anything, but it took you about ten minutes to get to the other stage and it was fucking rammed in the, the ocean room. So I didn't get to the ocean room. Uh, we had some food and then went back to the main stage with um, these boys. Black leg. Um, got the patch as well. Um, got the tapes, the CDs and the fucking albums. Black Blade had got, uh, when the first album came out, I pre-ordered it with the fucking long sleeve and that. Love Black Blade, absolutely brilliant. Um, obviously, Native American. Um, fully go into it. And they've had a bit of controversy. I think it's just because people, uh, that's what happens when bands get fucking massive really quick. They, they, uh, people always just want to push them down. They were fucking great. I thought they were excellent. The sound was a little bit off, but it was on the main stage for some some bands. So I don't. It's not the band's fault. They, they just, the sound just wasn't quite quite there for certain ones. The drums and the bass went all there, and the vocals kind of were in the back of them or whatever. But yeah, that Black Blade were fucking awesome. Don't want anyone to tell you any different. Um, the black metal is furious. It's great. Um, he, he, it's, it plays it fucking like a like a big of the cordily thing, but the sound was crap, so you couldn't hear it. So that kind of works well on the record you know but that's a thing um but they were fucking bloody black blade were great i was dead chuffed another band i was really looking forward to seeing and saw them and they were like why my fucking hat i think my head's moved there we go uh so that was excellent is that fucking still going have we run out of music i can't remember how long this fucker lasts for six tracks anyway uh yeah so that was main stage um black blade fucking brilliant um, so after that we popped over to managed to get to the ocean and we weren't sure if we'd be able to get in there so we had to leave the end of just before about five ten minutes before the end of Black Day just to get to the ocean and everybody else was fucking off as well I'm sure the band was a bit fucking pissed off with everybody just leaving but that's just the way it is we all want to see a Miss Plimming I think they called it a fucking Icelandic band I know um, we both fancy seeing them because um, our friend Good friend Logic Jorvik is a big fan of Logger. He, he's, he's a big fan of Miss Plimming. Um, they were fucking brilliant. Um, biggest surprise for me. Uh, I'd not actually heard anything by him, but I knew Logic liked him. I'd probably like him. They were really fucking great. They were like a fucking sledgehammer. They all looked like they'd been dug out the fucking earth, covered in crap. Uh, just to hit you full on. It was absolutely brilliant. Proper black metal assault. Um, almost death metal in places. Um, did slow down a little bit, but majority of the time just full on and in your face. Just fucking bloody. It just suited that ocean room. Uh, you can see why they were headlining the the, the, the second stage. Um, fucking bloody. I, I need, definitely need to pick up some shit by him. Really, really good. Well impressed. Uh, and then, last but by no means least, uh, headliner for the second stage for the main stage was these boys. Wolves in the Throne Room. Uh, this is the Primordial Arcana. I've got the fucking latest EP hanging about somewhere, but couldn't find it, so they still have to do. Uh, yeah, they were doing. What were they fucking doing? Bear with me a second. Why don't we be phone, boys and girls? Oh, there we go. I'll tell you, tell you what they were doing. That. That's official. There we go. Uh, I don't say anyone. Professional as always, boys. Professional as always. Uh, yeah, it was the two hunters set. Fucking hell, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, so, um, yeah, Wolves in the Throne Room do what they do. Put on a wonderful set. Um, all their fucking hoods and shit. And fucking spikes and all that sort of thing. Yeah, proper. US black metal, they've been doing it for 
quite some time. They're fucking big, understandably. You know, they're all the that sort of all the fucking stuff on the stage, nice setup and all that. Yeah, really good. Played a great set. Uh, watched till the end. Everybody's happy. Great way to end the festival. Um, as I said, I'm going again next year. Um, who have we had announced? Um, Agalock, um, Ulcerate, which is going to be fucking wicked, and Ruin, which is um, fucking what's his face? His band from Mayhem. Have to fucking check it out now. Um, uh, 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 yeah, Blasphemer from Mayhem. So yeah, that's the fucking announcement that they're going to play. Uh, I've got the Lumen album at the Mother-in-Law's. Um, so I'll have, start, I'll have to search that one out and start blasting it again. But yeah, good shit. So, so three bands announced so far. Fucking awesome. So yeah, the tickets already booked for next year. Um, as I said, pop in the comments if you went. Um, hopefully I'll see you next year. Um, yeah, just booked got tickets to go and see Holder as well in Manchester later this year which should be sweet I think it's September so yeah that should be cool I said I'm pretty sure Anti Inferno was supporting them um, yeah so Fortress Festival was fucking wicked uh, organised did a great job saw some really cool people um, nice friendly festival full of fucking corpse painted nutters it was great absolutely wonderful um, recommend it to anyone so that'll have to do me. Um, I'll do some collection updates in the next week or so. Try and get a few more things. I haven't done any for a while. Um, and that'll do me. I'll put some music uh, clips at the back as usual. And um, catch you in the next one. Laters. <laughs>